Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you identification of base or radix of given number. Right. So here I'll give you uh, some equation, and in that equation we are dealing with to identify what is the base of that given equation or what is the radix of that given equation. So, see equation is. So here question is to have identification of base or radix for given number. So here see number which is given to us that is 52 divided by 4 and that is equals to 12. So in which number system that happens. So I'll explain you the basic process and I'll solve probably 3-4 questions. So at the end you will get to know like what is the basic process right. So see 52 in if I say our base is B right so 52 that we can represent as per 5 into base raised to 1 plus 2 into base raised to 0 right that is how we can represent 52 as if this is there in base B and this divided by 4 is there so if I multiply 4 over this side then I can say this 12 into 4 and 12 that we can represent as per 1 into base to the power 1 plus 2 into base to the power 0. See that is how we can represent 12 and into 4 is there. So 4 into base to the power 0 that is how we can represent this equation and we are dealing with to solve this equation with base b and that is what the base of this given equation. So here see this is 5b plus 2 that is equals to b plus 2 into 4 and let us resolve this further. So this is 5b plus 2 is equals to 4b plus 8 and if you solve this you can see this will be b and this 2 will go over this side so that will be 6. So we can say this 52 by 4 is equals to 12 that is there with base 6 system right now I'll give you one more example so that will gives you a bit more clear idea so now second question is 24 plus 17 that is equals to 40 and question is to identify base of given numbers so here 24 and 17 and 40 if I say that is there with base B then 24 that we can write as 2 into base to the power 1 plus 4 into base to the power 0 plus 17 that I can write as 1 into base to the power 1 plus 7 into base to the power 0 that is equals to 40 so 40 is having 4 into base to the power 1 plus 0 into base to the power 0. See that is how I can write all these numbers with base B system right. And if I resolve this then this is 2B plus 4. This is plus B plus 7 that is equals to this is 4B plus 0 so that is 4B only. Now if you take this 2b and b over this side so 4b minus 3b that is b so b is equals to 7 plus 4 so that is 11. So this equation is valid in base 11 system right. Now I will give you one more question. So here question is square root of 22 that is equals to 6. And we are dealing with to identify base of this given system. So see here this square root of 22 that I can rewrite as 2 into base to the power 1 plus 2 into base to the power 0 and that is equals to 6 into base to the power 0. So I can say this is square root of 2b plus 2 and that is equals to 6. 
So if I do squaring both of the sides, then this will be 2b plus 2 that is equals to 36. And say this will be 2b is equals to 36 minus 2 that is 34. And if you divide 32, 34 by 2, so that will be b is equals to 17. So this equation is valid in base 17 system. Right. Now here, I'll give you some basic understanding which is highly required. See, whenever any system is been given and if it is been asked like whether this equation is valid or not. So in that situation, we need to identify this base and if that base is not integer number, in that case, we can say that given equation is invalid equation. Like see, if I solve any equation and if number that is 17.5 or 17.2, so that is invalid uh, radix that we can say, right, or invalid base that we can say. So that is what even we need to concern about. So whatever base or radix that we are calculating, it has to be integer number. Then only that calculation will be correct. Now here in homework, I'm going to give you a bit tricky homework over here. So in homework, what I want is like you should search out for some question. And you write in comments. You search out for some questions and write in comment. I'll pin that comment and definitely students will reply to your questions answer. So you write your comments in this video. I'll pin that comment and once I pin that comment, students will reply to your questions. So definitely there will be better understanding. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future, I'll make videos which will resolve your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.